Hey guys and welcome to Dainty Bite. Super excited to share with you this amazing almond cake. It has a hint of coconut and orange blossom flavor. It is so so good and so simple to make. It is the ultimate fall cake. Let me show you how it's done and let's get started. If you're familiar with harise or basbusa, this is very very similar but I think a lot lighter and less sweet. It is amazing. You're gonna start with one stick of room temperature butter, half a cup of super fine granulated sugar. You're gonna add a touch of vanilla extract, a touch of almond extract. I'm gonna set it aside for a couple of minutes and work on the dry ingredients. I'm gonna add one cup of almond flour. I'll leave the amounts and ingredients in the description box below, including grams. I have half a cup of cake flour, and I'm gonna add half a cup of semolina or farina. I used farina in this recipe, it's a touch more coarse, but you can absolutely use semolina if you don't have farina. I add half a cup of shredded unsweetened coconut. You can skip it if you don't like coconut. And I'm gonna add one and a half teaspoons of baking powder. Of course, you're gonna mix the dry ingredients very well, set them aside, and start working on the butter sugar mixture. I cream for two minutes, just until well combined, and then you're gonna add two large eggs. Mix until well incorporated. You can use the spatula to scrape the edges. Stop the mixer and then you're gonna add the dry ingredients. Mix just until combined. If you have any question, leave it in the comments box below. And if you haven't subscribed yet, please do so. Follow me on social media. The links are gonna be in the description box below. I mix just until combined. I don't wanna overmix the batter. It's gonna be on the thicker side. But I'm gonna loosen with one and a half tablespoons of orange juice and one and a half tablespoons of orange blossom water. You can do either or or a mix of both. I did a mix of both. This cake is smelling amazing. I'm gonna spray a loaf pan with a baking spray or butter and flour the pan. I add the mixture. And I'm gonna bake at 350 for 30 to 40 minutes. Mine took 35 minutes in the oven. First, I'm gonna smooth it out, top with some almonds, whole almonds, place in the oven. And the easiest way to remove the skin off of the almonds is to boil them for a couple of minutes. And you can take the skin off with no problems. I add a generous amount, just like so. It's been 35 minutes, it's looking golden and beautiful and that's how you want it. At this point and while it's still hot, I'm gonna drizzle one cup of simple syrup and you're gonna make the simple syrup by mixing sugar, water, lemon juice and orange blossom water. I'll leave the amounts in the description box below. And after it cooks and while it's still warm, you're gonna add it to the hot cake just like so, just one cup, drizzle all over the cake. You can absolutely enjoy without the simple syrup, but this is gonna add some sweetness and more flavor. And the lemon juice is gonna prevent the sugar from crystallizing. I absolutely love, love this cake. It's my favorite. If you're familiar with basbuse or namura or harise, this is very similar. A semolina almond cake that is so good for this winter. Give it a try. Let me know what you think in the comments box below. And until next time, bon appétit!